Recently I was looking into some Middle Earth lore, and found what I consider to be an interesting fact. I think it would be hard to find a single person who's read any kind of fantasy book or played any kind of fantasy game who's never heard of the One Ring. It is without a doubt one of the most, if not the most famous artifact in all of modern fantasy. But my first question for you all is do you know how the One Ring actually works? Of course it is the Master Ring and can control all of the other rings below it, so the other rings Sauron and Celebrimbor crafted for dwarves and men, the elven rings were crafted in secret so don't exactly count, but in addition to controlling all the other rings of power, it is said to give its wielder great power. Although that is also quite a vague concept as what power it gives is not directly addressed. I know Tolkien hated allegory, but I think what he meant by that was that he hated the idea of something equals something else. So the One Ring is the atomic bomb, and Sauron is a certain Austrian dictator, or something like that. But in my opinion, the One Ring does certainly at least seem to represent certain concepts, like a desire for power, or riches, or just desire in general. That's why its effect is different on each person. It exploits their desires and makes them do evil. As Gandalf said when Frodo offered him the ring, he might use the ring with a desire to do good, but through him it would wield a great power. It's a little like the idea that every bad person in history was mostly not intending to do something bad, only what they thought of as good or the greater good, but regardless ended up doing something bad anyway. So that's just a little bit on the philosophy of the ring, but there is still some interesting technical aspects to it. This brings me to an important point. There is one power that the ring obviously possesses, as it can be seen when used by hobbits. And what I mean is this is a power we can directly see, it's not some sort of theoretical thing. And this power seems to be that it can make its wielder invisible. Except, does it? Well, that brings me to today's video. So just to get it out of the way, the One Ring does not actually make you invisible. It in fact shifts its user into the Wraith world, meaning that for most mortal men, the wielder seems to become invisible, when in actuality, they are just shifting into a different world. Also, technically when men wear the ring, they're not fully invisible, you can still see a very faint shadow, but only when under the full light of the sun. Except certain characters, like the Nazgul and Tom Bombadil, can still see the user regardless of whether its user is wearing the ring or not, as they can see both the normal realm and the Wraith world, as they seem to both have methods of existing in both, or at least being able to see both. The Wraith world in general is an interesting concept that actually helps to explain way more of the more confusing parts of Tolkien's lore. For example, you may wonder why Nazgul never die, and it's not just because they are undead, it's because they exist in the Wraith world and, when their cloaks and horses are destroyed by say a sword or fire, they must return to Sauron to be given essentially new clothes so they can rematerialize in the normal world. They can still be harmed of course, but only by certain magical artifacts capable of entering the Wraith world. An interesting fact that arises from this is when Frodo is stabbed on Weathertop by the Witch King of Angmar, he wasn't technically dying, but shifting into the Wraith world, where he would become a lesser Wraith, serving the Witch King of Angmar and the other Nazgul. In addition, it allows its user to see more than just Wraiths, as in the books, Frodo could also see Glorfindel, who was a Calaquindi, I hope I'm saying that correctly, or an Elf of Light. These beings also inhabit the Wraith's sort of shadow world, which is essentially the world of the dead, well, it's sort of closer to a world between life and death. So to conclude, the One Ring allows its user great power, which I may discuss in more detail in the future, but more specifically, it allows its user to enter the Wraith world, or a sort of world between life and death, which comes with more power than just being invisible. In fact, hobbits are said to be able to enter this world largely because their will is strong enough to contend with the ring, or at least the ring finds it more difficult to utilize its power and force hobbits to pursue their desires. And Frodo and Bilbo are actually special in this regard, although of course eventually all succumb to its power, whether strong or not. But that's it for today's video, I hope you've all enjoyed, please subscribe for more if you like it, like it if you want to see more, and put any suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Also check out my Patreon to support this content and follow me on X. Thank you for the support guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Good luck in your adventures.